Bruce, welcome to St. Louis. Tonight's game features the Royals and the Cardinals. The moon shining bright, and it is the perfect night for a little baseball. Baseball has left us with some burning eternal questions, such as, did Babe Ruth really call his shot in the 1932 World Series against the Cubs? Or what if the ball had not gone through Bill Buckner's legs in the 86 World Series against the Mets? And what if the Mitchell Report never came out and the players continued to use juice more than a preschool with a Juicy Juice sponsorship? Luckily, at least the last question can be answered with the Bigs 2 for the PS3. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He's in! In the same vein as MLB Slugfest, man, I love those games. Do you remember dropkicking the catcher at home plate to break up a play? Ah, oh, so much fun. The Bigs 2 is a baseball game mixed with rollerball. Baseball has become a full contact, roided up, power fest sport. Home runs are big, pitches are super fast, and catches are ridiculous. Very rarely will you see a play that resembles real baseball. This is an arcade game to the highest degree. And you will pull off some moves that not just defy gravity, but also defy imagination. You will jump unbelievably high to rob home runs and stretch across half the infield to snag a line drive. Everything, and I mean everything, is over the top. Here's the, pitch. the players even look like they moonlight for the WWE or fell out of a Gears of War game. I don't remember Paul Mahalam looking this bulky in person. The game is arcade in every way. You fill up a meter to throw a pitch, trying to get the meter to fill to the very top in order to throw the perfect pitch. The game also has a point system. Everything you do awards you with points. They build up and allow you to unleash an even more ridiculous move. Every batter has what they call their wheelhouse. This is a certain area that the batter likes the ball in. Some want it inside, some want it high and out. Challenging the batter by throwing the ball into their wheelhouse rewards you with even more points than normal. It's a high risk, high reward situation, just like real baseball, where you challenge the batter with a high fastball. Here it is, see if you can hit it. Anyway, you save up your points and you can unleash even more super plays. You can use them to throw a fastball so fast that Jesus himself couldn't hit it or for a home run that shouldn't be measured in feet, but rather furlongs. Knowing when to save and when to use your points is a major strategy to the game, making the game have a surprisingly amount of depth. You don't want to use your big power only to be countered with big heat by your opponent. There are actually more things to do than I expected. There is a season mode and all, but there is also a good career mode that starts you off in the Mexican League and have you work your way back up to the bigs. There is also a home run pinball that sees you hitting home run derby in a crowded city street, trying to get the highest score by causing the most damage. Could you imagine if they did this in real life? Pujols sitting in the middle of New York, cranking out home runs, destroying Times Square? I would pay to see it. It's fun to play a sports game that doesn't take itself too serious. Do you remember NFL Blitz? Was that real NFL football? No. Was it fun? Yes. These days, all the games are about providing as real of an experience as they can. Give me Tecmo Bowl over Madden any day. I'm not playing video games to experience real life. I have real life for that. So give me a 700 foot home run and give me my escape. Game came right down to the end. 